You've wondered a little bit about Zoot Shooters. Today I'm going to show you a video from our last Zoot Shooters match. But let's actually talk about some of the weapons that you would actually need to shoot a Zoot Shooters match. The base gun that you would need would be a, a World War era Colt style 1911. Here's a very simple Arms Corps uh, Rock Island 1911. We sell it here in the store for $4.99. This would be a perfect gun to shoot zoot shooters with. Um, anything that has basically uh, non adjustable sights, no mag well, and in this case it's got their traditional style uh, hammer. Also, as you'll see in the video that we're going to show, uh, a Thompson submachine gun would be great, but I know some of you live in states where you don't have access to a submachine gun. Any one of the car arm slash auto ordnance uh, Tommy guns that are in semi-automatic would be perfect for the sport. A shotgun is optional and not required as part of the sport. But these are the guns that are required to actually shoot in the sport. This gun right here, this is a Thompson M1A1. This is the World War II variation of the Thompson submachine gun. This is the video you'll actually see me run the plate rack with in, in the, the rest of the match. Um, this gun fires from an open bolt, so you'll see when I pull the cocking handle to the rear. The chamber's open. If we had a live ammunition right now, we would insert a magazine. And then in order to fire the gun, we would actually just pull the trigger and the bolt would drop and the gun would fire fully automatic. This is, again, very similar to the Thompson semi-automatics that you can readily uh, uh, buy at our store or other stores that are out there. But this is a sample of the typical gun that you would actually use for a zoot shooter's match. <laughs> 